So here we are coming to the end of week two in the Master Key Mastermind Alliance. So exciting as we come up to th uh, we uh, week three. Because the idea that we put out in the beginning that everyone has a blueprint in their mind <clears throat> that's already predetermined their achievement level. And so many people have joined in this Mastermind Alliance to learn about that. And I'm sure wondered, you know, is that really true or is it sort of a way to explain that people have patterns and habits? Well, it's really true. Here's what actually happens. In the mind, thoughts that tend to fire together tend to wire together, creating a neural net, which I've described as a blueprint. You'll, people will find this out on the week three call, we'll actually see the scientific data, pretty amazing. But what happens when we have thoughts that fire together, we, we get a feeling, it's charged with an emotion, and that emotion is linked to the hippopalamus, which is right here in the back of our brain, and it releases peptides. And the, it releases peptides for everything, for fear, for joy, for anger, for excitement, uh, for I need to be a victim, whatever it happens to be. And the cells in our body are literally addicted to it. So the blueprint that we've talked about is actually a neural net, thoughts that are wired together, and every time something similar comes up in a home-based business, in a relationship, a relationship with food, when anything familiar comes up, the hippopalamus uh, releases peptides because the thought around it is wired to other like or similar thoughts. Well, what does this mean? How do we break this addiction and by the way, your cells are addicted to peptides. Well, you have to have and hold a vision for the greater good that is literally based on your personal pivotal needs, which are oxygen for your soul. And you have to have a mastermind alliance and a series of uh, exercises that constantly interrupt the old neural net, creating new peptides. See, when you imagine this new vision over and over and over again in multiple ways, several different ways you're imagining it. I'm going to give you several over the next several weeks. What happens is it creates a new neural net, creates new peptides, uh, so it's very important that we imagine, really imagine what it feels like to have our definiteness of purpose. Once somebody can do that, they can break the old neural net and replace it with a new one. Really exciting time. Week three, a turning point in week four. It's going to be incredible when you see this information. Keep doing all those good things, and we'll see everybody back here with the hibiscus in my jungle backyard. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, the ocean's right over there. Peace.